Thanks for watching WCCO 4 News and CBSN Minnesota. We are following developing news this evening in the Derek Chauvin trial. A picture of a juror posted on social media has some legal experts saying it could help in an appeal. Esme Murphy's following this now. And Esme, this is the same juror that we heard speak on WCCO and spoke publicly last week. Absolutely, Frank. Now, I've talked to a number of legal sources, including those familiar with this trial, and they say this juror at minimum will have to be questioned in what's called a Schwartz hearing. And depending on his answers, the judge could order a new trial. Here is the issue. The juror in question is Brandon Mitchell. He has given interviews about his role as a juror, including one to WCCO. That is not the issue. The issue is that since the verdict, an image of Mitchell has emerged on social media showing him at a march on Washington, which was held in August to commemorate the anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King's speech, I Have a Dream. But the march was also called Get Off Our Necks, and members of the Floyd family spoke at the event in Washington, D.C. The problem is there were two questions about attending protests and marches against police brutality on the juror questionnaire, which Mr. Mitchell said he answered no to. One of those questions is about protests in Minneapolis, but the other question is about protests that could have happened anywhere. And his no answer on that question is the question at hand. Here's what he told us moments ago. They asked if I attended any protests for George Floyd or anything for police brutality. Uh, my answer was no because I hadn't. Um, this this particular march was for more so for voting, voter registration, getting people out to get out and vote for the presidential election that was upcoming a couple of months afterward. And this was the only one that you attended. Correct. This is the only thing I attended. So you did not attend the protests for on behalf of George Floyd or anything like that. No, I didn't. Did none of that. Well, that's a pretty open-ended question, and the march that he went to, which was on August 28th, 2020, was specifically about police brutality. In fact, it was partly advertised as get your knee off our necks, and it had speakers uh, with the Floyd family, Breonna Taylor and Jacob Blake. Again, Brandon Mitchell told our Mike Max, as you just heard, that he did go to that MLK march in Washington, but did not view it as a rally for George Floyd or a rally against police brutality. I have not gotten a comment yet from the Attorney General's office or Eric Nelson. I did speak with a spokesperson from the Hennepin County District Court just a moments ago. They say they have not gotten any filings from any of the parties on this, so they have no comment. Uh, but obviously more to come, possibly much more to come. Much more to come. This is this is a very very serious matter. Uh, everyone I've talked to said this is a serious matter. Yeah, it sounds that way. Okay, Esme, thank you for the update.